What is Love EP by Bria Janae. Bria Janae set her goals to be a singer as a child. She moved around a lot as a kid, so music was always there to comfort her. In between classes in high school, she would record herself singing in the stairwell. One of the videos went viral and she was contacted by VH1 to join the show Signed. She ended up winning the show and signed to the Dreams Radio Killer Records. What is Love EP is her debut project. How do we feel about it? Here's our honest review of What is Love by Bria Janae. What is love? What is love? <laughs> Bria Janae. You didn't watch the show Sign, did you? No, I didn't. I didn't check it out either. I'm kind of over music When was shows. this uh, show? Uh, this was last year. Mm, okay. I think I was watching The Four. Yeah, because you had me watch it. Yeah, The before. Four was fire. Yeah. But apparently Sign wasn't that bad as well because mm-hmm. she can sing. How you feel about this album artwork? I thought it was pretty dope, man. I like how the color contrast kind of plays off of like the, the light within her on her shirt and then the handwriting is in that color. So I thought that was pretty dope, but I think it's a cool cover. Bro, she hit us with the 1989 <laughs> Anita Baker, Sade, <laughs> Patti LaBelle. Everybody had their signature. Where yeah. they just have a pose yeah. with the, it looks like they wrote on top of the album cover yeah. and handwriting. True. She gave us the old school style album artwork. Yeah. Which I thought was pretty cool. It's dope pose. I like the way they use the light. And like you said, they kind of yeah. have her eyes looking towards the light. It's actually really dope. Yeah. The flow of this project, I just felt like it was more so them showing you what she can do. It's a five joint EP. I, I would have uh, wished for about eight, mm-hmm. you know, just so I can get a real feel for everything she's um, capable of doing. I don't feel like this showcased everything she could do, but I feel like it gave you a taste of what to expect from her as an artist. Yeah, I agree with you. I feel like this is just a little sample of what we can expect from her. And just to give you an idea, if you're not familiar with her like me, so, yeah, I gave you a brief, you know, sample of uh, her talents. Highlights. Look, I actually listened, like, when you mentioned it to me, mm-hmm. I had already listened to it. Oh, okay. I just didn't really remember listening to it because oh. I listened to so much stuff. Really? But when I heard Backbone, I was immediately excited. Even when I heard it the first time, I was just like, okay, Backbone, that's, that joint is hard. Mm-hmm. Uh, 21 and over, I think that's actually pretty cool. It's a pretty dope song. It's got a dope vibe to it. I like the lyrics. I wish R. Kelly wrote this song so you could find a way to defend him. But he didn't, so you can't. Uh, and uh, it was just a joke, guys. <laughs> uh, if y'all heard the song, y'all would get the point. Uh, and Too Late, I really like Too Late a lot. This is my favorite song on the project. It sounds like it's straight from the early 90s, SWV-ish times. Like, around the same time we came out, this should have came out. So it's like she's so young. She's like 25, but she's got like an old soul as far as like her musicology. And I think that's really dope about it. True, true, true. Backbone was fire. Uh, Backbone was listening. I was just like, oh, okay, yo, this is pretty dope. Uh, I like what Young Love did. You know, I didn't like the writing so much, but I like the vibe of the song. And 21 and over was really dope. I thought it was cool. I thought it gave us a little bit more attitude, you know, a little bit more. So, yeah, I thought it was dope. You don't wish our... our anyway, uh, low lights. <laughs> I don't like Young Love. And this, that's what made me not necessarily care to review it. Right, right. Because when I heard Young Love, I was just like, oh, man, you start me up, up here. And, and then, then yeah. you give me this. I was just like, it's not... I, I didn't believe her on this song. I you know what I'm was, saying? Yeah, I feel you. Like, uh, it's not like she's not singing well. I just don't believe it. The emotion is in her voice, but I'm not feeling it. It's it's just something about that song that just didn't reach me. Yeah. But, oh, and as well as Swear to God, like, Swear to God was also, it just felt like a skit. And you don't want to end your album with that. I mean, spe- I mean, your EP with that. I mean, especially it's only five joints. Yeah. Like, this is a 17-minute joint. And that's those two joints i was just like yeah not not really feeling them yeah uh too late i really wasn't feeling that song really i like like the melody but i feel like the song went on for way too long uh and swear to god it had potential to be a good song but you cut it off early it was only two minutes and six seconds we got cut off at the dream and i feel like there should have been a third part where they both could have came in harmonizing together or something like that maybe a third verse or third something do you think that maybe that was a play on that you have to wait to the album to get the full song if it is that's whack <laughs> because it's just like you know i i thought it was going to keep going on like i i like how they set up the song 
they both is kind of singing from the same perspective just one is the female just one is the male and then just ended abruptly like that so it just kind of left me wanting for more yeah i guess but it didn't work out final thoughts look man i think bridge and a has potential uh the writing on this project is dope like on 21 and over uh i like uh uh, how she's talking about how she's not about to be the girl in the song that's talking about you know i'm hurt yeah. um i'm I, i'm bad without you sad without you like that whole part of the song like i was yeah. just like man the writing on that is actually really smart to do that yeah. it's almost along the line of like when usher always gets the people that's listening to the <laughs> song to sing along yeah. or i should say jermaine dupree yeah. always asks the people in the song to sing along if yeah. you feel a certain way and uh backbone and too late to me are really great songs and i just feel like it shows her potential but i feel like also young love songs like that i don't feel like that should make the cut i I feel like she can do better i feel like there's other songs that fit her sound to me i have to say that because it's my (laughs) opinion yeah i believe that this was a cool sample but you know i think it like left a lot to be desired because i feel like she can go somewhere with this but i don't know if this was like you know the general direction to get you something that like really interested in and ending it swear to god really made me mad because i thought it was gonna be something else but um i I like her style i like her vocal range and everything like that and i'm really interested to learn more about it final grade i'm giving this joint a dash i feel like you got three joints that's really dope two songs that I'm just not really rocking with like that. Mm-hmm. I feel like there's a lot of potential here. She's got the dream helping her out. The dream is a certified hit maker, but at the same time, I personally don't like a lot of the songs the dreams actually put out himself. Mm-hmm. Like I like the songs he writes for other people. I like his first two albums, but after that he kind of lost me with Love King and uh I didn't even listen to the triple album. I was just like, hey, I don't think anybody but Chris Brown is putting out a dope triple album. You know? gotcha. But I feel like she definitely has potential and I want to see what Bridge and they can do with a full project. Well, I don't even necessarily need a full project, but I need seven joints, like 30 minutes. Another EP. Yeah, like 30 minutes, seven joints where you showing us what you can do. I'm talking about, I'm looking for that energy that like we were seeing on like the four and everything. Cause I didn't see this show, but from the clips I seen from when I was slice, slicing up the videos, it mm-hmm. looked like she was going in. And I want to see that yeah. on the songs, you know what I'm saying? And I don't feel like she did that on any of these songs. Yeah, I'm going to give it a dash as well. I feel like there's a lot of potential, like he was saying, but I feel like there was just not enough to like immediately hook you to her. Um, I feel like, you know, I have to go back and actually like, you know, try to catch some episodes of the show or whatever like that to see what made her so, you know, relevant on there. But I'm, I'm interested to see where she goes from here and, you know, find out more. Kofi Mania, y'all. Kofi Mania.